Ferrari's Prancing Horse. The Prancing Horse is done by two of the most illustrious marks in the world of motor racing. Porsche, which weighs it to mark its place of origin, and Scuderia Ferrari, then Ferrari for good luck. Porsche's Prancing Horse began life many hundreds of years ago, taken from the Huso Gloidov stables. The Louisdorf lineage then ran a battle horse stable, eventually landing a prancing horse as a symbol to mark an area they found, Stuttgart, where Porsche's factory resides. The gold background on Porsche's crest, probably to represent a form of yellow, which is the official colour of Stuttgart. So what is the origin of the one worn by Ferrari? This is where it gets interesting, as lots of variations are out there, leaving uncertainty, causing curiosity. Maybe because it is not conclusive to its origin, as it goes beyond Enzo Ferrari's lifetime, which is already in itself a story that goes a long way back. Let's try to lay down pieces of this puzzle so listeners can draw their own conclusion, and one will be drawn to by this piece. Written history has it after 16 of June 1923, when Enzo Ferrari had won the Targa Florio on an Alfa Romeo, a lady named Countess Paolina Biancoli met Enzo Ferrari and handed him a logo of a prancing horse. Countess Paolina Biancoli is the mother of Italian World War I hero, a war hero that even Enzo Ferrari looked up to, and that is Francesco Berracca. She told Ferrari the Cavallino Rampante that she handed to him would bring good luck. So what exactly did Francesco Baracca's mother hand it over to Enzo Ferrari? And why is there uncertainty as to what the exact origin of the prancing horse worn by Ferrari or even Baracca is? Francesco Baracca, a hero fighter pilot, was also a trained cavalry. His life story links him to several prancing horse emblems, leading to several interpretations to the one used by Ferrari. One, from the left fuselage of his aircraft, based on the cavalry regiment where he was trained, the other being his ancestral coat of arms, and these two, however, have a connection. Another story is where he downed a German warplane, carrying a prancing horse as its emblem. First off, the Piemonte Real Cavalleria Cavalry Regiment, where Baraka trained as a soldier. History has it that Francesco Baraka added to the left fuselage of his pad fighter biplane his pride of being part of this regiment, which also has a prancing horse as its symbol. He changed the colour of the horse from a silver horse on red to a black horse on a variations of background colours, yellow, white, to camouflage as a cloud and even light purple found under several layers of paint on another aeroplane. Baraka also flew different warplanes, namely a SPAD 7S and the 13S. On his family coat of arms, it has a black prancing horse on grey or silver background. Some sites posted this too, being very similar to the one used by Ferrari, but we will get to this later. On way he downed a German ace fighter pilot from its wreckage, an emblem was found with the logo of a prancing horse on it, symbolizing Baraka's contemporary who he had aced was from Stuttgart. As the story goes, Francesco Baraka was proud of this one particular statistic and carried the Stuttgart coat of arms to battles thereafter. It is believed that this is what Baraka's mother gave to Enzo Ferrari. This particular story is the one that links Porsche and Ferrari's prancing horse. On appearance alone, the Stuttgart logo may look closest to the one used by Ferrari. On the Scuderia Ferrari emblem, written history has it that canary yellow background was added by Ferrari himself to mark the area in Italy where he came from, and that is Modena. And this is official. Again, the same colour as Stuttgart, Another coincidence, however, this piece of evidence distance the Stuttgart horse from the one donned by Ferrari. Although there is one similarity between these two horses, again, causing comparison, 
and that is the horse's tail. The Stuttgart horse has the tail pointing upwards, just like those worn by Ferraris. The one on Baraka's biplane has the tail pointing downwards. Then we get to Baraka's family coat of arms, where finally we get closure as its tail point upwards. However, going more in depth, it gets even more confusing as an actual Baraka coat of arms as seen at the Francesco Baraka Museum has its tail pointing downwards. Is it just another version from another time? Another detailed observation. The prancing horse that has the tail down also sees its head pointing downwards, while the one with its tail up has a more level head posture, including the Stuttgart variant. So now we touch on the link mentioned earlier between the regiment that trained Braca and his family coat of arms. This link is that the Baracas family has a history with the Piemonte Real Cavalleria and one way or the other, the Cavalino Rampante is added to the coat of arms. The regiment's logo sees a prancing horse with his head and tail pointing downwards. The similarities between the one on Francesco Baracas' pad fuselage, which he always used, and the coat of arms found at the museum are nearly identical, strengthening this link. It is also near identical to the one made out of wood found in the Francesco Baracca Museum. On this piece, we are going with this and the reason is from dwelling deeper into the regiment's emblem, an older variant of the prancing horse is found. Still silver on red, however, its head point upwards and so is its tail. Besides the canary yellow, Enzo Ferrari said that he had kept the horse black. Going back to what actually did Francesco Baracca's mother handed over to Enzo Ferrari. A booklet on the aviation ace may hold the key to this, unlocking the exact origin of the Cavallino Rampante worn by Ferraris. Its cover has a prancing horse nigh identical to the one on any Ferrari. It also has a shield similar to that used on Ferraris and three stars above it, signaling it as being the family insignia, most likely an early version that has a prancing horse similar to that of an early Piemonte Real Cavalier regiment crest with the head and tail upwards. On the Duke of Savoy's coat of arms, a similar horse can be seen, the Duke being the founder of the Piemonte Real Cavalier regiment in 1692. It seems that the horse on the regiment and the family coat of arms are linked, having earlier versions with the tail pointing upwards while later has them pointing downwards.